All right, guys. So um, some of these whirlpools, they have this rack in the freezer, and this one is up. Okay. Uh, maybe that style, if that helps. Model number is there. That's what it looks like. Now, sometimes you have to remove this top rack and a little bit tricky. You can't get it out until you actually remove. So you have two tabs. See the tabs. They must be pushed in, but you have to do them together. But you could do one and you have to pull up. So you gotta keep some tension on. As you push, you keep tension. So let's see if I can get you in here. Push down. And as you push, you have to pull on the back piece. Okay, you can see it partly going up. There you go. And then you push on this one again as you're pulling. There you go. So a little tricky, but it can be done. And then you can remove this rack. Okay. Now don't forget you have two screws right there those must be removed before right there that one there and one on the other side and then this whole piece comes out all right guys so we're talking about this bottom tray and this is in a whirlpool now, sometimes you do need to remove the entire track, okay? You can, and if you do, okay? A couple other ways you can do it if you wanna leave the tracks in. Um, but to remove the entire track, tab here, you push that tab, and as you push, you pull. Okay, see it start to come already. It's already popped. And same thing here. Push. And then you pull. The entire track will come out. Now, to make sure it comes out nice and smooth, grab both sides and pull, okay? Have access to the evaporator and to remove the evaporator cover, one, two, three, four screws. You also have to remove there's a little tab here, has a screwdriver, you insert it and you push. Have your thermistor all right guys sometimes it's a little bit pain but it, it came out just fine and now you have two screws make that four To remove this cover anyways just be careful guys this is sharp it can cut you This is your evaporator. Uh, that black thing is your heater. 
By the way, the heater should actually be pushed up some. It should be nice and level against the evaporator. Um, that's not the problem here. So we are going to remove this evaporator and we're gonna put it into another refrigerator. Uh, that's for another day, but we're gonna be removing it probably from here where the copper is and the copper so that we don't have to brace the aluminum and everything fits everything should be the same same heater so that should be pretty good all right thanks for watching so this is the donor uh, fridge that we will be putting the evaporator in as you can see this guy's totally damaged so we're going to be doing a transfer. We're going to be cutting the tube pretty much right at the circle away from the aluminum. It's easier to brace copper to copper. And I do have a resistance bracing, which is zero flame. So the previous guy actually destroyed, pretty much started to destroy. Unacceptable. So we're going to cut that out and bring the other one in but before we do we're going to do a measurement and make sure we get our cuts uh, pretty close so we'll cut it longer on the other end and then we can do our measure cut from this guy all right i'll keep you guys updated